My current project is, uh, is this diagonal paddle steamer engine and its construction has necessitated quite a few uh, changes um, to milling cutters in the collets of my round column milling machine um, which has always been a bit of a pain changing, changing cutters in the collets Historically, to uh, change a cutter in the milling machine collet has required the use of two C-spanners one to lock the spindle and the other one to unlock the, uh, the collet or whatever it is I'm trying to change and it has proved over the years to be a serious pain to the point and now I can't put up with it anymore and I've had to come up with different ideas. Initially I came up with the not so bright idea of making a support on the milling machine on which I could rest one of the C-spanners so that I only then had to use my hands to hold to operate one C-spanner whilst holding the collet and stopping it dropping into uh, the abyss. I just happened to have a piece of brass, as you do, that was about the right outside diameter and also had a hole in the middle that was also almost big enough to go over the milling machine spindle. So all I had to do was bore this out a little bit and there was the collar that I'm using for this uh, locking bar. Clearly, I guess most people might not have a bit of chunk of brass lying about like this. I've no idea what it came from. It looks a bit like plumbing to me. Um, in which case, you could simply turn up a, a collar out of steel that would do the job. The collar's uh, drilled and tapped. I think 0BA in a couple of places just to lock it to the spindle. And also has... Um, a couple of uh, quarter inch diameter in this case but it could be a bit bigger quarter inch diameter holes drilled diametrically opposite one another and uh, these holes actually match up with the slots in the, uh, in the milling machine spindle I'll show that in a second so these two uh, holes, diametrically drilled, line up with the um, the slots of the uh, of the milling machine spindle into which it was uh, intended. As you can see, the uh, C spanners used to fit before I came up with this. Uh, Right idea. So this Tommy bar arrangement obviates the necessity to use two of these C spanners together to loosen or tighten the um, collet with the consequential flying off into space of C spanners, collets and everything else these things get quite sticky really a job worth doing in my opinion so the reason for this uh, stop arrangement is to avoid the use of these two of these quite awkward uh, C spanners and every time I change the collet one or both would end up flying into outer space as did the collet that I was trying to change. And now we ain't got that problem because we just put the collet in. We only need one C spanner, so I tend not to drop that. And then you just tighten the little devil up 
course the Tommy bar rest against this um, spindle that I've turned and fitted to a hole in the, uh, I don't know what you call these parts, anyway. And when you want to undo it, because there's two holes, you don't actually have to go the whole way around, but anyway. Um, you just go reverse and undo it again. No more sea spanners and milling cutters flying into outer space. How about that then? Simplest ideas, frankly, in my view, are the best. Uh, and as I said, this uh, this end actually goes into that slot, which is in the spindle that used to be used for one of the C spanners. Very good. The locking bar for the Tommy bar is a simple turning job from a piece of um, round steel and uh, is fitted into a pre-existing hull in the mill which also uh, supports the um, retrofit vernier that I put on this machine. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel where you'll see various other projects and ideas that I've had over the years. Many thanks.